Yes, Mzanzi, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Opening up right here on S3 and opening you up to incredible conversation. We're going to start off with the Paris 2024 Paralympics, which closed in absolutely spectacular fashion on Sunday with around 4,400 athletes from 168 delegations celebrating history and what a historic summer it was. We had chief organizer Tony Estangu hailed as the Games for uniting France with Paris uh, showcasing a vibrant Olympic and Paralympic legacy. And yeah. honestly, it was nothing short of exactly that. We've got the man of the hour, Lorenzo Darius, who's uh, coming through as an espresso sports producer to chat about the Games, the <laughs> yeah. inspiration and all the monumental success that happened. Uh, gentlemen, can I just ask, because okay, so you were at a wedding last night. Yeah. You probably had to take in more sports in the uh, last two days than in the last five yeah. years I am, combined. I'm, I'm trying. Um, I'm so trying. I'm working with about 2% grey matter here. I'm going to... Um, I am trying. I wish that you were actually on the screen like speaking to me from Paris. <laughs> it would have been would nice. Be cool. uh, hint, hint, management. Please send me to the next one. <laughs> well, these athletes have earned that yeah. right. Mm. And I think a lot of us within the sporting field were so terrified that the, the platform created through the Olympics yeah. was going to die down and that the Paralympians who put in probably more financially in terms of their own personal journey to get themselves mm -hmm. there weren't going to get that same platform. But it feels like the world has embraced the Paralympics like never before. Maybe do you so. feel that as someone who's plugged in to yeah. the kind of main vein of sport, do you feel it's gotten its just rewards? Look, in South Africa itself, if I look at social media, I, I blame the country. We haven't been behind our Paralympians the way we were behind uh, Tatiana Smith. Let's be honest with us, with ourselves. When looking at social media and the buzz that was surrounded by her winning gold, by winning, you know, silver, yeah. um, you know, there was, it was everywhere. I opened up my social media and, and I was a little bit disappointed that Phantom Toes, uh, as yeah, you so know, shame Raul, Raul's, Raul's yeah. really close friend, yeah. you know, <laughs> I hope that they're going to they're going to give them the recognition they deserve, and I feel that we as South Africans we need to do a little bit more. It's, yes, we had a good weekend with the Springboks, but can we can we support them as well? Well, from from your mouth to Gaten's ears, <laughs> yes, because yes. he's the kind of man who does respond to those sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. But it's it needs to be represented in the structures for and, sure. And you see such a beautiful example of that, and you see the real true success story behind an organisation, a country, and the people that yeah. get behind those that might have these disadvantages, and you see that in the People's Republic of China. Yes. They did absolutely incredibly well for the Paralympics. What's your take on their success? Why? Yeah. How? Again, because they've been doing it. Yeah. yeah. Again, like I said uh, before, the, the white paper document that they put forward in not shunning people with disabilities away, but allowing them to be in high-level competition every single month, like with able body players out there and athletes out there. Created they've structures. pushed it, they've yeah. created the structures that need uh, or allows them to succeed at the highest level. Mm. And everyone needs to follow. As much as the world has a little bit of a problem with China sometimes politically, the bar's been they, set, the bar's been set it's, it's, for them. It's often it's a, a cultural misunderstanding, as yes. is often the case within the world. And having an opportunity to, to work with companies that operate in that space, I've had yeah. it all wrong. I think I've had a completely different understanding of what it is uh, in terms of the service to their own people yeah. in that space. And this is highlighted beautifully in the Paralympics. Take a look at the the medals table because I think it's always interesting to kind of compare that to the oh. Olympics in terms of how much funding is going where. We know that Great Britain and kudos to them have always had a very strong, solid Paralympic platform. Their yeah. athletes do get the TV time. They yes. get supported by the press in a country that, that obliterates most of their sporting stars <laughs> through the tabloids. Yeah. Um, the Paralympians mm. actually get yeah. it quite Don't do anything it. wrong in the UK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> what stands out for me there is that you see a yeah. lot of these sort of, let's call them first world countries and then you yes. look at the likes of something like Brazil. Yep. And Brazil, we can compare very much to South Africa. Very South yes. African, I mean, like the yeah. top five, uh, we got Brazil there, which I think yeah, as 25. South Africans, we can look to, to, to the inspiration there and be like, yes. well, there's nothing stopping us from replicating that and doing Definitely. even better. We have a very similar circumstance. Yeah. Socioeconomic uh, 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 externalities are, are, are very similar. So yeah. crazy to see that they have a working model. There is success here. Not crazy. That is when you have faith in your athletes mm. and you are not different differentiating them between able body and disabled. A medal is a medal, like, baby. A medal Come on, like yeah. Putting, putting in money and infrastructure and identifying the talent is something that needs to happen within our country. 
I would like to, to challenge any of you to, to give me a school, an athletics academy, that is for disabled um, that focus on, and on a high I performance. Don't know. Yeah, man. And this is the crazy, I'm so <laughs> glad that you put that out there because I remember going to the, the Sports Science Institute, heading to Stellenbosch to go and meet some of the sevens players, it was the ladies actually, and I had to do the rig of death with them, which is why it stands out with me. Oh, wow. uh, I mean, it was okay. terrifying. No, I'm not okay, I'll never be okay ever man, again. Man just had a flashback And they all knew, and, and the worst thing is all the gents in the room were like, ah, <laughs> buddy. Um, so that stood up, but I, I'll never forget seeing these two Paralympic athletes walking down the street with like the tech that they were using Using the, it was tip of the spear type stuff. Yes. So if the rest of the world is coming here to train, yes. because we have the best intellectual property, the mm. best athletes mm. to kind of yeah. share, the intellectual kind of mindset, everything is here that needs to translate. Yes. Is it as simple as um, just plugging in more tournaments, as you say, for Team South Africa? How do we need to up that medal stake? Because it feels like we could do it. No. If you look at what we did with the relays, yeah. yes. just a bit incredible. more money, a bit more focus, suddenly yes. a result. Yeah, mm. a little bit more, uh, a little bit of a school of excellence we need to identify. We always talk about grassroots level, but it's important that we start at a young Exposure, age. Yeah, if we find that. someone with the talent that needs that extra push, we need to invest in them. It's all about investment. But we need government to come on board and actually put something in place and say, hey, corporate, hey, SA schools, hey, to, to, to Sascock, and just be like, you know, here's a little bit of a flame. We need to push. We cannot. We only did seven medals at uh, the Tokyo Olympics, and now we're doing six. Like, that's, that's going back. If we look at 2000, we were about 38 medals at some point in time. Yeah. We, we, so that being just, said, how uh, impressive are the medals that we've gotten then? If yeah. there isn't the support, <laughs> yeah. how proud are you of the South African athletes that have shone this year? Because the standard has been incredibly yep. high. Definitely. Paris Olympics, we got one gold medal. Paralympics in Paris, we've got two gold medals. Yeah, yeah. They've outclassed. <laughs> if I must say, and I'm not taking away from able-bodied athletes that need to push in and put in those extra hours, but when you're someone with a disability that's not getting the full financial support from, from the structures, you are putting in a lot more time. You're putting a lot more pressure on your community. Mm. And this is where community comes in sure. to assist. And now it's the mental aspect, it's the physical aspect because you have a disability as well. There's so much more that goes into it. And, and again, not taking away from able-bodied from able-bodied athletes different that journey, have to though. go yeah, through the same. We saw it with path. Simone Biles having to pull herself away. It becomes a struggle. And, and what then happens is we just need our community, meaning South Africa, to assist and put in more effort and not just look at the finished product. Yeah. We always someone that wants, we want to look at the finished product and start supporting them when they've made it. Why are we not helping from before that already? Yeah. We need to do those things in order to enable to get them there. That's Gaten, what needs to happen. Gaten, please, sir, we need five <laughs> major Paralympic build-up tournaments a year in South Africa. I'll take that. It's going to be absolutely great. Well, Lorenzo, thank you so much for coming through. Good I pleasure. think inspiration, nonetheless, after that conversation is what has been instilled in anybody that had the opportunity to take part in or be a part of and watch the Paralympics. And wow. I just want to commend and, and put out another congratulations to everyone that participated in that. For everybody that has been inspired, do not give up. Keep pushing, keep working, because things will turn for you and we are going to, personally I think here, we are going to put more effort into celebrating our athletes in this country. Whether you have one leg or none, it doesn't matter, you are a human being and we're getting behind you.